How's it going, Airsofters? Now, a few of you have been asking me about my camera setup, like what cameras I'm using, what lenses I'm using, what settings I'm using on my cameras. So I thought the easiest way to answer all your questions would be to make a video and just maybe like show you the, the cameras I'm using and the settings I'm using on those cameras. So I'll start off with my main camera. My main camera is a GoPro 4 Black Edition. I run it at 60 frames a second and 1080p. I find this is just enough to get a day's airsoft in onto a 64 gigabyte memory card without having to swap that memory card over. The mount is uh, one I've constructed out of uh, some of the GoPro fittings. I've sprayed it a tan color and a case I've sprayed a tan color as well and I've chopped it about a little bit to suit my needs. I, I, as you can see, I mount it upside down. If you want to have a closer look at what I've done with the mounting, I'll try and do my best to get it in the shot. So getting back to the, uh, the housing, I've also put some holes in there, as you can see, which angle upwards. That's where the microphone is on the camera. So uh, it, it allows for a better sound to get to that microphone. And because they're angled upwards as well, if it rains, don't get any water in there into the internals of the microphone. I've uh, put a hole in there as well to stick the USB cable in, to run a wire all the way around the helmet to the back to run a power bank. Now this is a an Anker power bank. This is 5,200 mAh, and it is enough to last me for a whole day's airsoft, which is fantastic. So I don't have to worry about changing the memory card or changing the battery all day. It just records all day. I stop it when we stop for breaks, stop for lunch. But other than that, it sees me out the day. The case is pretty much sealed apart from those small holes angled upwards and where the USB cable goes in, but that is a pretty tight fit as well. So I've never had any issues with water getting into the housing. Okay, so as for my other cameras, I've just happened to have my 416 sitting here. This here is a GoPro session. See, it, okay, and it is in a brain exploder rail mount, which is really good. It allows you access to all the buttons and uh, the, the hatches and stuff. Uh, it allows you to see the screen, but it sits on that rail lovely. Now, the GoPro session is fairly cheap in the UK at the moment, it was £150, and for that £150, you actually get really good footage from it. It's a great little camera for the money. I run the GoPro session at 1080p Super View. Super View is quite a good setting on this because it gives you a really wide angle. So, so on the camera, you can sort of get in what is going on behind me, kind of thing. And this one I run at 30 frames a second. It is capable of 60 frames a second, but 30 frames a second is enough. And because that battery is internal on this, you can't change it. So I have to charge this one up with another power bank. When we stop at lunchtime, I just plug it into the power bank and it charges it up. And it just about gives me enough power to last the day. I think if I had it on 60 frames a second, it would just drain too quickly and I wouldn't be able to run into the camera all day long. So this one here, this one is the Mobius. This is my aim cam. This one here has got a 16 millimeter lens on it, which gives a probably about four times zoom on it, which is just enough for, for an AEG. I've also got one with a 25 millimeter lens. Now this gives an eight times zoom, which is a lot better for sniper rifles and DMRs kind of thing. The Mobius runs at 1080p as well and it is 30 frames a second as well. Again, the Mobius has got an internal battery, so I have to charge it up halfway through the day, usually at lunch break, uh, via one of these power banks again. These are super handy, so if you're running lots of cameras, I recommend getting some of these. The lens on the Mobius is a 16 millimeter lens. Like I said, you have to buy these separately and install them separately yourself. This lens is a CCTV lens, and it comes already fitted with the IR filter. You don't have to fit an IR filter yourself. This one already has it on. So it's just a matter of taking the old lens out, fitting this one in, and then focusing it in. It's not too bad a job, really. It's okay, as long as you've got a little bit of technical knowledge, be fine doing this. The rail mount I'm using for my Mobius is the Dark Star rail mount and it is available from his Shapeways store on shapeways.com. It's a pretty good mount really. It does hold it somewhat in place. I've never had any issues with the Mobius wanting to come out of there at all. There's a little bit of play in there but nothing too much. Well that's my camera low light for when I'm running with an assault rifle. Sometimes I even do a little bit of sniping now and again, and here is my camera loadout for that. 
Okay, so this is the setup I use for when I'm using a sniper rifle, which isn't very often, but when I do, I like to wear a baseball cap. And uh, the mount I use is the Brain Exploder baseball cap mount. It's a fantastic mount, really. It holds that camera in place really well. It sticks on the Velcro, as you can see, the tactical cap Velcro thing. Um, and, it, and it just holds it on there nice and secure. Before that, I used to use one of the GoPro straps and it used to wobble about like crazy, whereas now it stays in one place all the time, which is great. The housing is the same GoPro housing that I was using before, and this time I use a longer USB cable. As you can see, that runs top of my head and down the back to another power bank. And that tucks into a pouch on my back. So again, it runs all day long on that one power bank. I have one of these mats that fits over the, uh, the scope. It's got a small section of rail there and it allows the Mobius with the rail mount to fit onto the top of the scope. I also have a power bank there as well, which is strapped to the side of the scope. The USB cable runs around into the back of the camera and it powers that camera for most of the day without needing to recharge it. Again, for the, uh, the barrel selfie cam, I've got the session on there and it's bolted on there with a one of the bicycle um, handlebar grip type uh, mounts. Uh, the good thing about the session is it can be mounted sort of any way up you like. So you, it's quite a versatile little camera, really. You see there, it's been hit by a BB because that back end is on offer, really. I mean, there's no protection in the back end. The camera still works fine, but I just wonder really how much punishment that camera can take on the back there. Uh, that was a fairly close shot. I think that was the more that was a couple of weeks ago. Well, I hope this video has answered some of the questions that some of you have been asking me recently regarding my lenses, my setups, my cameras. If I haven't answered all your questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to uh, answer any more questions that you've got. I'll be adding links in the description below to some of the stuff that I've mentioned, like the, uh, the Brain Exploder mounts and the Dark Star Mobius mount. Well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe to my channel.